First of all, your thoughts on the seesaw movement we've seen yesterday was up over a percent, today it's down just under a percent. What are your thoughts on what we're seeing? Well, right now, if you look at the um, average of the major companies in the Nigerian Stock Exchange, you discover that they've hit a major resistance mm -hmm. and they are basically retreating to um, support levels where they will from they will bounce back up again to touch the resistance levels. Now, if you look at the fundamentals, you see that um, this, we're just getting into the um, quarterly earnings season of companies. And normally when you have earnings seasons, there's profit taken from the table. So when there is a declaration of profit, um, traders and speculators tend to take profit from the table and you see a retreat of the price of the stocks. Mm. So if you compare it on the average of, of the major companies quoted on the exchange, you see that you have um, a negative uh, all share index value. So I, I think right now what we're experiencing in the market is normal to profit taking in this um, mm. quarterly earnings season. Mm. And of course, because the market has run up quite a bit earlier in the year. But what are your expectations? You just mentioned um, company earnings season that we're going into that right now. Guinness is one of the companies that has released results recently and uh, looking at some analyst reports, generally disappointing results, um, slightly under expectations really for profits and revenues. But what are your expectations going forward? We'll talk a bit about Guinness in a minute, but your expectations for this earnings season in general and the impact it will have on the market? Well, if you look at the major areas driving the um, all share index right now, the banking sector, which is taking about 75% of the volume traded in the market, and the um, other areas, which takes about 25%, you see that they have not outperformed expectations. So, yes, for Guinness, we might have seen um, a little bit of underperformance. It didn't quite match up with analyst ex uh, expectation. And we also see that there's an improvement from the last quarter, the second quarter mm. of, um, of Guinness. So yes, we didn't reach up with expectation, but it's better than the previous. So on the one hand, you missed analyst expectation. On the other hand, the fundamentals of the companies are doing very well. And while you might see um, downtrends from missing of analyst expectation, I, I think the fundamentals are okay. And over time, investors will realize, speculators realize that, mm. look, the fundamentals of the companies are okay, their profit estimates are good, and the markets will pull back to reach the resistance level is failed to break. So you and Spates in the markets rallying on earnings? I, I expect it to break 27,000, which is the uh, major resistance level is currently testing right so now. So you think that we'll do that by what? Second, end of second quarter? I, I, I think by the beginning of the third quarter, we should be well up to 30,000. Mm. But now, let's come back to Egypt, um, sorry, Guinness now. And there is this, should I say, um, thought from some analysts that some companies maybe warrant a blue chip premium. And if you're looking at Guinness numbers, it's P at 21.5 times earnings. Some will say that's extremely expensive, but um, some other analysts think that this stock might have still have some way to go. What's your thought on this blue chip premium? More so because the likes of Guinness, Nestle, Nigerian breweries are the blue chips of this market. Well, when you look at Guinness, you have to consider the vast product base it currently has. It has Sazen Brewery, it has Gordon's, it has um, Pilsner, it has um, um, Guinness Extra Stout, Guinness Extra Smooth. When you look at the Nigerian um, um, market, the, the um, alcohol beverage market, you, you see that um, Guinness has consistently done well. And when you look at the marketing communications of the company to position the brand as um, a leading breweries company in Nigeria, when you, you, you consider the fact that Guinness has succeeded really in connecting with the audience and has been able to match um, the drink with the love of sports, the um, spirit, the cultural spirit of unwinding mm. after I had this job, you, you know that the company is on solid footing to outperform analyst expectation. So you think all that put together warrants a blue chip premium? Because 21.5 times earnings, that's looking a bit um, rich in terms of valuation, don't you think? I, I think, I think we, 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 we're going to see 
a even higher premium because Guinness is one company that outperformed the all share index by 18.4% in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the PE ratio and earnings per share, it's, it's very high. I, I think Guinness is one company that, based on the fundamentals, not the technicals now, is going to outperform analyst expectation mm -hmm. in the coming, in the coming um, quarters. 